War against the Black Mage. With this, with the destruction of the anti-Black Mage coalition at the hands of Von Leon, the people of Maple World were quick to place their hopes in the heroes as stories spread of their sexful, successful exploits. Though they were the most well-known group, group of freedom fighters, there were still other factions that participated in the war against the Black Mage. Destinin was a legendary fighter, said to be the first pirate in Maple World, and rumored to have fought with only his bare hands. Destinin was a pioneer of Maple World, having sailed in search of new continents before the rise of the Black Mage. During his adventures, he met a half-elf named Eurus, who was traveling on her self-made airship. The two soon fell in love and had a son named Tess. Destinin and Eurus eventually joined the fight against the Black Mage. Around this time, the Black Mage devastated the continent of Assyria, causing a chunk of it to break off from the mainland and float away, eventually becoming known as Victoria Islands. Author's note. The original lore of Destinin stated that he had a battle with the Black Mage after Victoria Island broke off of Assyria. I swear that I remember reading that Destinin's battle with the Black Mage was the very reason why Victoria Island broke off from Assyria, but for the life of me, I can't find a single source to collaborate it. In a rev, Empress Arya had created a secret organization called the Silent Crusade, which was responsible for gathering information on the Black Mage and stopping disasters before they happened. Though the exact details of their operations remained unknown, the organization persisted centuries after the Empress's death. Author's note, this is learned in the final quest of the Silent Crusade storyline. Originally, the dialogue said that the organization had been created by the Cygnus Knights generations ago, but as the Cygnus Knights themselves didn't exist back then, the wording was changed to say that the former Empress had created them. On the Heroes' front, Brood served as the strategist and attempted to find the best way to defeat the Black Mage. Though he hoped that the heroes would be able to defeat the Black Mage, he created two contingency plans in case the worst were to happen. For both cases, Frood drew upon the power of the Seal Stone, knowing that their power exceeded that of both the ancient gods and the Transcendents. During his research into how to create and use a, spe- a Seal Stone, he discovered three main features needed. Firstly, a focal point for where the power of the Seal Stone must be channeled, ranging anywhere from a person to a continent. Secondly, the combined will of five individuals to give the intent to the Seal Stone's power. Finally, a strong desire to abandon destruction and seek peace. The Seal Stones required the desperate wish of many in order to use. In other words, they would not grant the wish of an individual. Once it demonstrated a power greater than cause and effect, the Seal Stone would be destroyed. After the Ancient War, the Divine Power, the Divine Power, of the Seal Stone had permeated deep into the lands of the Three Worlds, which Frood extracted and reshaped into gems. Frood's first contingency plan was to use the Seal Stone and combine them with a sealing spell that would bind the Black Mage to eternity in the event that the heroes were unable to defeat him. His second contingency plan was to prepare for a situation that his sealing spell failed by distributing sealing seal stones to the people of Maple World, he hoped that the damage done to their lands could be undone. To this end, Frood and the other heroes distributed at least seven seal stones, one for each of the regions of Orbis, Elnath, Oolong, Ludibrium, Rev, Ellen Forest, and Victoria Islands. Author's note: In the original Explorer storyline, it was shown that there was also a seal stone of the Nihal Desert although all references to it have been removed in the new storyline. I won't list it here, but it's entirely possible that it could have existed. Currently, it remains unknown why Ellen Forest had a separate steel seal stone from Victoria Islands, as Ellen Forest is literally part of the island. In a run storyline, the, Black Ma- the Blackwings travel into the past to steal the seal stone of Ellen Forest, but the seal stone of Victoria Islands still remains safe. Before the revamp of Ellen Forest's storyline, time travel mechanics were undefined, and so I made a theory to explain how this could be true based on the principle that the game doesn't operate on a causal loop, which is which is that going back in time and changing the past is what shapes the events of the present that were always meant to be. 
It's like how Harry goes back in time in the Time Turner and saves himself from the Dementors. Assuming that we're not operating that we're not operating on a causal loop, the Black Wings go back in time in timeline A and steal the Seal Stone from Ellen Forest. This creates a divergent timeline B, where the Seal Stone of Ellen Forest is lost. But they instead return back to timeline A where Ron is in possession of Timeline A's Seal Stone of Ellen Forest, which we rename the Seal Stone of Victoria Islands. The Black Wings bringing back Timeline B's Seal Stone of Ellen Forest allows for two of the same Seal Stones to exist in Timeline A, while Timeline B is bereft of its Seal Stone for Ellen Forest. With the introduction of Ellen Forest storyline revamp, time travel mechanics were established, and it was confirmed that the game operates on causal loop mechanics. In fact, causal loops were even stated to be one of the fundamental laws of time established by the overseers in order to ensure that time remains fixed and unchanged. As a result, my theory can no longer stand. However, Nexon has stated that they plan to revisit many old storylines and revamp them in order to fit together better. Since they've retouched Aran's Ellen Forest Seal Stone quest, it seems that they are aware that the Ellen Forest Seal Stone problem, oh, of the Ellen Forest Seal Stone problem, and it's entirely possible that they may address it in the future. During the war, Alicia decided to back the heroes with her powers as a transcendent. Though she originally did not interfere with human affairs, Ryud's bravery moved Alicia into actively taking a stand against the Black Mage. Author's note. We don't know what Alicia did specifically to help the heroes, only that she did something. 